Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add the always available offline to the context menu on your computer. So it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So definitely it's going to help make your sync center network file connection link a little bit quicker. So that's why we're going to be doing that for today's tutorial. And we're going to start by navigating to a paste bin file I'm going to have in the description of the video. Because we're going to have a registry editor text in here. And sometimes the YouTube description box is a little weird when it comes to syntax. So I just have it on a paste bin web page here. I just want to go ahead and copy it from the link. I'm, again, I'm going to have it in the description of the video. And we're going to go minimize out of here. Open up the start menu. Type in notepad. Go ahead and just open that up. We're going to go paste this in now. And you're going to go select file. Save as. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it add menu. And then dot reg. Again, dot reg is very important. I'm going to save it to the desktop because we're going to delete it once we're done. We don't actually need this file once it's added to the registry. And save as type. Click inside the drop down here. Make sure it's set to all files. And once you're done with that, go ahead and select save. Now, would suggest before we actually run this file to create a backup of our registry. So if anything were to go wrong, we could easily restore it back. And in order to do that, very simple. Just go ahead and select the start menu. Type in regedit. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should go back to Registry Editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the User Account Control Prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now, in order to create the backup, you would select File and then Export. Make sure Export Range is set to All and then name it whatever you want. Probably the date that you're making the backup is what I would recommend. Save it to a convenient location on your computer. And then you would select Save. And if you ever need to import it back in, so if you had to actually use the backup, you would select File and then Import and navigate to the file location from there. So again, pretty straightforward process. And now that you've done that, you can go close out of here. And so now we have this file that we created a minute or two ago on our desktop. You're going to go ahead and double click on that. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. You're going to go ahead and select Yes again. It should have been successfully added to the registry. So we'll need to select OK. You do need to restart your computer for the change to take effect and then it to appear in the context menu. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.